Good morning. I'm in the in my potting at my potting area this morning here, and I am going to uh, separate some of this this hardy ice vine. It's pretty windy. We'll see how this works. Probably not going to work too good. I'm going to separate the hardy ice plant. I might have to do a voiceover if it's going to uh, misbehave. But so I had taken this ice plant. It, it reminds me of a, a sedum, like a creeping sedum. And it, when I bought it, it was in bloom, of course. So it was like orange, orange colored. It says red, but it was orange, like a really neon orange, very pretty. So what I'm going to do is take a look and see how this works. So in early June, mid-June, I laid this out on a tray with some potting mix just to see if I can get it to propagate so I can spread it out. So I'm going to flip it over so you can see that all of the little cells uh, separated, which is nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a knife. I'm just going to cut these apart. I'm going to cut these apart and then I'm going to plant them. It's kind of nice actually. It's, just, it's almost reminds me of baking a little bit. So we'll get these cut apart. Hopefully they hold together for me. It's going to be easier using a scissor. And some of the little things may break off, but like I said, this is like a seed of, so I'm guessing if I tuck it in the ground, it'll probably go. So you can see it's like an individual pot on its own, which is kind of neat. So I'm going to finish cutting these. I'm going to put them in a tray. Put a tray here. And then I'm going to pot them around the edge of my little um, potting area where I have a, a path that I had created. I had some creeping flocks in there, but it didn't do well, probably because I didn't have the right soil consistency for it. But I also have some some Irish moss and some Scotch moss uh, in between the, the little the natural stone, and it's really quite beautiful. It's going to grow in, so this is the first year for me doing um, the Irish or the Scotch moss, but I really like it. It's just very really colorful especially in a dirt corner. So I don't get sun over here until about one o'clock in the afternoon. But I am looking for different kind of ground covers to use. And I'm gonna try all these things and see how they work. It's gonna, I mean, we already have one hard frost. So I'm a little bit late doing this. I probably should do this in early September. But I always like challenging the norms and to see what I can get to survive because I think a lot of times we all get really busy so it'd be nice if someone tests that out for you <laughs> and it'd be me so I'll cut these apart and then I'll move the camera over to where I'm going to plant them up and we'll tuck them in oh this this really worked well I am very very pleased look at the roots the root formation is beautiful and because it's a, a creeping type of uh, plant, the root systems are typically very shallow, um, which means I don't need to plant it very deep. So, really like this plant. I'm really hoping it's going to come back. It says zone four, but sometimes they push it when they say which zone. I'm hoping that because I'm in the back side, I've got shelter on two sides where I'm at that I can uh, get a microclimate just in case it does get a little bit colder back here. So I'm going to finish cutting these apart and then I will um, set the camera up for the planting and, and give you a little view of what it looks like when it's done. So, And I have a few of these that are a little bit loose where some of the stuff didn't stay with it, which is fine. They're just little bitty pieces. I'll just stick them on the soil and we'll see what happens. I'm doubting it's going to root. Like I said, we've already had one frost. I've got a hard frost, another hard frost coming. But we'll give it a go and see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, I'm ready to plant my hardy ice plants. Um, I have loosened the soil around here. This is out in my potting area. And I'm going to simply pull this soil back and make sure that everything has good 
contact with the soil and I will come back over the top of it and I will uh, sprinkle some more composted manure over top of it just to make sure that it has some contact. And this should fill in and be beautiful in the spring if it survives. It says on the tag it should. <laughs> I doubt it, but we'll give it a go. Again, it reminds me of a, like a sedum, like a creeping sedum, um, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to just plant it there and I'm going to come back over it with some composted manure and kind of fill it in and mound it up a little bit. And then I'll water it in. And we will go from there. So I'm going to put it on the front of this potting area. Leave one like a spot for another stepper right here. And I'm going to do that edge. And in between the the uh, natural stone, I have the Scotch moss, which is the yellow, the yellower of the two greens, and the Irish moss, which is the darker green. Both very um, really cool plants. Um, can walk on them the little bit that I walk on. It doesn't hurt them, uh, and it's just it's just kind of a fun area to plant in. So I'm gonna get going here. I'm gonna finish this up. So I decided to give everybody a little more of a close-up view. So I'm just going to rough up this soil a little bit, just on the edge. My goal is to have this creeping, and yeah, it's going to compete with the, the Irish moss, but I don't care. We'll see who wins in the battle overall, but got some nice worms in here. That's nice. So I'm going to plant this along here. I'm going to tuck it in. Make some room. Then I'm going to backfill it with some compost to make sure it's got some good adhesion. And it's covered and it should continue to grow in. And in the spring, it should give a little bit more of a, a splash of color, which is always necessary first thing in the spring to wake up from a long winter. So I'm going to cover this with a little bit of compost. And then I'll water everything in really good. And we'll call it good. It's okay if it's covered up. When I water it, it'll send it down a little bit. Again, I'm doing this to make sure that we have good adhesion. If this video is helpful, be sure to give it a, a thumbs up so that YouTube knows to share this content with others. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.